this piece of carpet is hopefully going to eliminate things from falling down like screws and washers and uh, all kinds of things that fall in between the tailgate on my truck. You know how that happens when you're working on the tailgate and something falls down there and then they, you're looking on the ground for it and it's like stuck on the bumper and uh, hopefully this eliminates that. I do a tremendous amount of work from the back of my truck on my tailgate and I also use this technique a lot. It's where I hold a nail with a pair of vice grips, heat it up real good, and then use that nail to pierce the fabric that I plan to hold down with screws. The reason, of course, for this is that if I tried to drill through this with a screw, it would twist the fabric up. Thank you very much, Mr. Burns. Next is to see how well this fabric will fit when the tailgate is closed. You see a tailgate's got a little bit of a, a lip to it. That's where the original uh, bed liner ends. And this does not come in contact with that. And that's so that water that gets in the bed of your truck has a place to leak out. Now because I have a topper, I'm not worried about water leakage. So, and even if water did get here, it's got a little way out over there and this won't hold water. so. But any little that gets in there should just soak through this. It's just a little cheap piece of carpet. So I'm not worried about it going bad. If it does, a year from now it'll start to look real, real skunky, I'll just replace it. Here you can see the gap in between the bed of the truck and the tailgate. And I'd say there's better than a half inch of space in there. Maybe three quarters. Plenty of room for a carpet doubled up. It's just this knee pad, whether or not that would hit the carpet. Eh, time will tell. To secure it, I used finish washers and some self-tapping screws. I think the finish washers are stainless, and I tried to find some stainless self-tappers, but I didn't expect these to get wet too much, so I was kind of hoping for the best here. It didn't need to be super secure, so I only put a screw about every foot. The self-tappers rip through the material the bed is made out of, which I've seen rust many, many times on trucks. And many, many times I've drilled holes in my trucks. <laughs> and that never was the cause of the truck's demise. So I wasn't really too worried about doing that to this truck. Here you see when the tailgate goes up, the carpet just folds nice and neat and then extends when you put the tailgate down. No problems. The only thing left to do now was to wait. The success or failure of this project would be told by time. Well, about half a year has passed since I installed this little piece of carpet here, and you can see it's holding up extremely well. There's no rust on the screws, and I think the topper really more than anything is protecting that and keeping it in good shape because it stays dry. You can see there's a little bit of dirt there, but this little portable leaf blower <laughs> cleans it up real nice and easy. I'm loving this thing, by the way, but that's another story. This has given me half a year of not worrying about dropping things in and into this vortex in between the tailgate and the back of the truck. Anybody out there that works on their truck knows what I'm talking about. I mean, I'd be crawling in there, knife would fall out of my pocket or something, and I, I don't have to worry about anything going down there anymore. It's one of the easiest, most satisfying projects I've done in quite some time. And when things are satisfying and easy, I feel compelled to share them with you. So I hope you enjoy this little hack. And uh, if you work on your tailgate all the time, perhaps you'll like it. Yes, the way my dogs like bones. Hey. Jeffs, I guess you get two bones. <laughs> Don't miss out. Try these projects and uh, enjoy yourself. See you next time. Oh yeah, I got a uh, couple little toys here. Like this canoe. I think I'm going to work on that next. <clears throat> Stay tuned for more crazy stuff. First I think I need to mow the grass. Oh, look who it is. Do you want one? Hmm? Yeah.